Hi guys, my name is Jasper. Welcome to the NI Indonesia. First, I would like to say Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I think it's a little bit too late. Uh, today is uh, 15th of January, but hey, the Chinese New Year is coming soon and it's never too late to say Happy New Year. So, well, Happy New Year for those who celebrate the, the uh, Lunar New Year. Go see Fa Chai, see it quite once a week. Um, we we'll wish you to have a happy life, a healthy lives, and everything goes smooth, hopefully, in 2017. And second of all, I would like to say thank you for um, all the support that we have from our supplier, from our staff, uh, all the support from our clients and as well as our agents uh, who keep running through this um, um, uh, company. Um, I received the email from one of the, uh, the clients. Um, her name is Kathy Duran and this is her email. And say hi, my name is Kathy Duran from Christchurch, New Zealand. Hi Kathy. Um, I saw your Burnless YouTube video and I found it very useful for someone like me, but blah, blah. I'll just skip to the last part. Um, basically, what Kathy says is not really um, in front of making a soup for Burnless because he's not kind of a soup person. So what happened is the Kathy tried to consume the, the Burnless uh, as it is, and she said it tastes a bit um, tasteless actually, and a bit like a jello. Well, Kathy, that's because uh, the Burnless is created from the bird's saliva. So that is why the, um, it doesn't have any taste and it tastes a bit like a like chewable jello. Um, uh, the, uh, the, char the characteristic of this bird nest is it actually absorbs the taste. So the reason that people make that as a soup is because the, um, the bird nest itself would absorb all kinds of spice and um, taste that you inside the soup to so make the bird nest taste rich. Some people try to put that uh, mix that with the fruit, maybe as a fruit salad, is a, also is a good idea. Um, I think your last question is, um, so what do you think, what do you usually consume, how do you consume yours? Well, the way I consume mine is, uh, I like to make it as a pudding, I like to make the bird nest pudding. And some, and some of my ask, oh, what, what is the taste? Well, it depends. Um, Sometimes, if I put as a mango pudding, then the bird nest will uh, taste like a mango. Sometimes if I make a chocolate pudding, then it will taste like a chocolate because the bird nest will absorb the, uh, the taste uh, from the pudding. So let me put up uh, this video that I make especially for you, Kathy. Uh, this is how I create the, um, uh, the bird nest pudding. Uh, first, all you need to do is very simple. You just need uh, 410, 400 to 410 ml of uh, water. And then you need the, the packaging of the instant pudding. Um, it's very easy, just get that from any supermarket. Um, probably Asian market, they have uh, those one, you know, one from Thailand or Korea. They usually have a very uh, nice one. Um, so this is a... Um, um, so basically what we need to just prepare that uh, and the, the pot. Uh, that's the electric pot I use for cooking the burn nest. First you put that in, plug it in. And I like this one because it actually boils the water in a matter of uh, seconds. So not even one minute, the water will start to boil. Um, this water is actually what I put here. Uh, it's 400, uh, 400 ml and it's matched the, the, the mango pudding. Um, the mango pudding that I was going to make. So basically we all need to make sure um, well, this is the the, um, the instant um, puddings. Uh, this is soya bean curd and uh, mango, my mini mold. I think I prefer the, the mango instead because I already cut open the, the packaging, so uh, it makes more sense if I cook this one instead. Now, there is an important message for when making the, um, the mango pudding or any kind of pudding. Make sure your burn nest is it's done. It's already done by, uh, before you make to this pudding. I'll explain that later. So once you put that uh, pudding in the water, and uh, make sure you try to stir it up. Um, don't wait too long, otherwise the, the pudding powder will start to uh, stick together and it's very hard. Not, it won't be like dispersed into the water. Uh, try to disperse that by putting that 
yeah, by using a spoon and a lot of times, a few times, that should be enough. Now, the reason that we need to have the bird nest ready on hand, um, I mean it's already cooked, because the bird nest you need to cook it about 20 minutes to half an hour uh, for cooking the bird nest. If you does not know how to cook the bird nest, um, anyone who doesn't know it, you can just Google it or YouTube and it will let you know how to cook the bird nest. So the instant pudding will take 1 to 2 minutes to get it done. But the, the bird nest itself in 20 minutes to half an hour. So this is why that you shouldn't put the, the, the bird nest into the, um, uh, the, the pudding when it's not cooked. So you need to cook that bird nest on, uh, beforehand. Now as you can see here, this is the bird nest that I made uh, prior to that. Um, the bird nest is I think about 2 cups. Um, the two uh, VIP cups of bird nest and yeah, I'll separate that into um, the two container. Um, what happened is the uh, recommendation when you have a bird nest, you have that um, every day. Of course, you consume that about one cup per day. Uh, do not consume more than two because your body will not like accept all those um, too much nutrition. So basically, your body will just disperse. Uh, the remaining and you, you end up like losing money you know you're having like a three or four burn nests and your body only absorb one of this which is not a, not a good thing um now the, let's put all the burn nests into uh, the container and well make sure that nothing left in the uh, in the bowl uh, just pick uh, some of the part because i don't want to miss any part of the burn nest and let's check on the the mango put um, I consume this pudding like on daily basis. So basically, like, as you can see, the the water is ready. okay. So use a uh, spatula and try to put into the uh, the container one by one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Yep. Looks very yummy, and I feel like I'm going to make my pudding just uh, in the next few minutes once I finish recording this video. Um, basically, burn nest itself uh, is an agricultural product. It's not like um, you know some kind of um, sometimes the Chinese herbal medicine. Uh, you can't mix that with the honey or you can't mix that with uh, any other thing. Otherwise, uh, the effect will be gone. But this is not the case for the burn nest. So burn nest actually you can mix with pretty much everything else. You can mix with the honey. You can put some sugar on it, and you can mix with um, uh, like grass jelly. Sometimes I'm too lazy to make pudding, so I just went to a supermarket. There was uh, the Korean um, soya bean milk uh, in a can. I forgot the name. Uh, I think it was Young or uh, something. Um, well, it tastes very good, so I just open that can of the soya bean milk and pour on the, the bird nest and consume it. The bird nest will absorb all the soya bean taste, and it's, it's quite good. So, um, yep, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, this video actually takes a bit longer because I was um, I was trying to you know, hold the camera on my left hand and try not to make it shaking too much so everything has to be slow otherwise when the camera was too shaky uh, warm but not for me I like to cold so put it in the fridge and fast forward this is half an hour later um, as you can see the bird nest is well it's pretty much cooled down um, I like to have this one before I sleep just makes, I feel like, um, feel like I'm gonna have a good dream, you know, like something like that. So I know I'm kind of a weird guy sometimes. So as you can see here, the bird nest has been dispersed and uh, mixed together with all the um, you know, the, uh, the mango pudding. And basically, what we are going to do is we'll take one of these, uh, put it in the bowl, put it in the plate, and. So this is the bird nest I'm trying to cut open with a knife, um, butter knife, and just to show you, well basically you can eat it straight away with the, your spoon. Uh, the reason I just cut it is because I want to show you how it looks inside uh, the bird nest inside the pudding. So as you can see, it's a little bit hard to see the bird nest inside the pudding because the, um, the color of the bird nest is actually transparent. Uh, all you can see is that the pudding has another jelly inside the pudding. So, um, it actually tastes like that, the pudding. 
when you eat the pudding, you taste a little bit jelly inside the, the pudding with the, all the mango taste. So, which is very good. Um, I think that's very tasty. Uh, I think the, uh, the whole process will take just about three or four minutes to get everything done. Um, yeah. So yeah. So if you have any more questions, feel free to email me on jasperbudiono at niindonesia.com or you can always visit our website at www.niindonesia.com um, There's a lot of information about bird nest, how to uh, the, have the benefit of consuming bird nest and etc. etc.